All right, so we're diving into the emotional gauntlet that is the movie Mrs. Chatterjee vs. Norway. This film isn't just a run-of-the-mill drama. It's based on the real-life saga of a woman going head-to-head -head against an entire nation's child welfare system. And let me tell you, it hits like a freight train. The premise revolves around a woman whose children are taken away by the Norwegian foster care system, citing cultural differences and her incompetence as a mother. That's the kind of premise that immediately gets your blood boiling, doesn't it? It does make you wonder about the gray areas of child welfare and the nuances of cultural differences. It's a minefield of emotions and controversies for anyone, especially for a guy like me sitting in Portland, where we pride ourselves on embracing cultural diversity. Rani Mukherjee, the lead playing Mrs. Chatterjee, delivers a powerhouse performance. You can feel every ounce of her anguish, determination, and raw motherly love. You're not just watching a movie. You're being dragged through the trenches of her fight. It's a journey that leaves you emotionally invested and rooting for her every step of the way. And the direction? Shonali Bose has an exceptional way of telling stories that matter, of giving these real-life tales the cinematic gravitas they deserve. She doesn't shy away from the complex and the painful. Instead, she lays it bare on the screen for all of us to experience. As someone living in Portland, a place where activism runs in our veins, this movie resonates. It challenges your perceptions about the global child welfare system and makes you think about how cultural misunderstandings can have devastating consequences. To sum it up, Mrs. Chatterjee vs. Norway does an incredible job of melding heart-wrenching narrative with a call to awareness about international child custody laws and cultural sensitivity. It's more than just a movie. It's a conversation starter, and that's something we need a lot more of. Mrs. Chatterjee's battle isn't just for her children. It's for respect, understanding, and a mother's universal right to raise her children within the context of her culture and values. Heavy stuff, right? It's a film that sticks with you long after the credits roll.